What's good, YouTube? This is your boy, Dr. J and the women, and uh, today, mm, mm, mm. Sing is how it's truth Friday. Um, I've actually been asked to tell this story uh, about how I got stabbed and almost ran over. So this story begins a um, couple of years ago. It was some years ago. I don't even remember exactly when, but it was some years ago. Uh, I had just got into a, a breakup, this girl that I was dating for a while. And like right after that, I had a family member pass away, you know, my grandpa. And um, the shit, you know, it, it like really bothered me and I was in like a pretty fucked up situation, pretty fucked up state. But I figured, you know, I'm gonna, you know, keep going. You know, I got a good job. I, you know, was living with my roommates at the time. Everything was cool, right? To an extent. <laughs> um, so uh, I was going through like this depression and one of my uh, friends from uh, this job that I was working at, or I guess an associate, uh, someone I knew at this job was telling me, hey, my female friend thinks you're cute, you know, you should talk to her. And I'm like, who is this person, you know? Uh, so after work one day, we all had, you know, went to a bar and started kicking it. And um, the chick pulls up on me and she's like, hey, there's there's my friend over there that thought you were cute, you should go talk to her. So I go over there and I talk to the chick. I'm like, hey, what's up, how's it going? You know, uh, so-and-so told me to come talk to you. Uh, she said you was feeling me, you kind of cute and shit. Was, was really hood, right? I'm just kidding, That's, that's that wasn't my pickup line. <laughs> that would have been terrible. Like I would, you know, so I start talking to her and we had a good time. We was talking, chilling and shit. You know, everything's good. She's cracking up. We're just dying laughing at these jokes and shit. So, uh, fast forward a little while later, you know, and like we're talking like on a daily basis, kicking it and whatnot. And she's like, you know, I don't, um, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. You know, I don't want an actual, I don't want to date you or like an actual relationship, but fuck it. We just, we're all adults. Y'all know what we talking about. You know, we, we was fuck buddies pretty much. We smashed a couple of times and that, you know, was like when we had the conversation. So she was like, you know, I don't, I don't want to, you know, date or anything like that. I just want us to kick it and just, you know, be friends with benefits. I'm like, all right, that's cool. You know, that's what's up. That's, I'm cool with that. I just got out of a bad relationship. I don't want anything serious either. So as time progresses and goes on and we kick it, you know, a lot, she tells me out of nowhere one day, cause she was on the phone with someone. And so she just turns over, she's like, oh man, my boyfriend is just such an ain't shit person. And I'm just looking at her like, your boyfriend? For real? You got a dude at your house, but you out cheating on him with me. That makes me feel bad. I feel shitty for this. No dude deserves that shit, right? So she's like, oh, well, you know what? It's, it's, you know, I don't really like him like that anyways. He's just... He's really nice, but he's like too much of a nice guy. Like he's too soft. I'm like Why would you do that to him? Just break up with him at least. I mean, yeah, it hurts his feelings But at least he didn't get cheated on. You know, what I mean, you just steady cheating on this dude and every day that you're over here at my spot You're cheating on this dude. That's fucked up. Don't have me meet him I don't want to meet him right because I just I would feel bad as a dude meeting another dude who I'm fucking his chick. I, it just feels wrong. Like I can't shake your hand and look you in the eyes and be like, hey, what's good, man? I'm Randy, nice to meet you. All right, hey, we both fucking, right? I told her, I was like, you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't really know how I feel about that. You know, I'm gonna have to take some time to like think about this shit. You know, it's just fucked up for you that you would do that to him. You know what I mean? And I didn't want to be the reason why you're doing this. She was like, nah, you know, if it wasn't you, Probably be someone else. I'm like, God damn, this bitch is, she's just cold blooded. After some thinking and talking to none other than BHD, and he tells me like, well, you know what? If she's gonna cheat on her dude anyways, you might as well reap the benefits, right? Huh? <laughs> and it, I'm just like, well, yeah, I guess so, right? So one day we're out kicking it, driving around, and uh, she was like, you know, oh, I gotta stop off somewhere real quick and pick something up. And I'm like, all right, cool, right? So I'm sitting in the car, and she drives up to this house and this dude comes out, real tall, skinny, scrawny looking motherfucker, right? And I'm like, oh, okay, this might be like her relative or something. Uh, she was Puerto Rican, this dude looked Puerto Rican or maybe Mexican, I don't know. He looked Mexican. I'm not sorry. So he comes out and you know, she comes up, gives him a hug and shit, kisses him on the cheek. And I'm like, oh, hold up now. And so he comes up to the car and he's like, oh, who's this? 
points at me, and I'm like, uh, Jake from State Farm? Khakis? I'm like, who's this? And she's like, oh yeah, that's my brother's friend that I was telling you about. And so I'm just looking at her like, your brother's friend. She's like, yeah, you know, my older brother, uh, remember I was telling you about his friend who went to like, like Arizona, and, and now he's back and I've been hanging out with him. And he's like, oh yeah, 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 I remember. Hey man, how's it going? You know, shakes my hand and shit, looks me in the eye. He's like, hey, I'm Bernard, I'm her boyfriend. And like instantly I'm just like, fuck! Like I didn't want to, I, this is exactly what I was trying to avoid. I did not want to meet her boyfriend because now I feel bad, you know? Like I had just smashed earlier that day. So now I feel like extra shitty, right? Like he knows. I'm sitting there, you know, playing it off. I'm like, yeah, you know, she's she's just, you know, just grown up over the years. She's like a little sister and whatnot. As soon as she gets back in the car and we drive off, I'm like, yeah, what the fuck was that? Why would you do that, right? And she was like, oh, I didn't know. I'm so sorry, I forgot. I'm like, yo, I told you a long time ago, like twice, not to do that. Why the fuck would you do that? We'll calm down, we're not dating anyways, is what she says. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. You know, you are right. By us not being exclusive, you know, it works both ways, right? She's still got her dude, which is fine, right? So I was doing my thing, right? I was talking to some other girl. When she found out, she got mad at me like I was fucking up. And like, I told her, you know, cause she was like, oh, who was that on the phone? And I was like, oh, it's so-and-so. And she was like, isn't that the, the chick that you were telling me that you had met? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I met this chick. Uh, we've been talking, you know, I'm probably gonna kick it with her later. And she's like, Oh, really? Just gets pissed off, right? Starts asking me all these questions. Oh, do you like her? I'm like, she's all right. Like, I don't like her personality, but you know, she cute as fuck. She's like, oh, really? Are you sleeping with her? Are you sleeping with her? Are you gonna leave me for her? Is that what your plan is? You ain't shit, starts cursing me out, right? And I'm like, what is your problem? So we get in this huge argument. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna argue with you. You know what I mean? Like, I hate arguing, period. Even when I'm in a relationship with someone, I hate to argue because you don't really solve much. So like, if I get upset or pissed off at you, I'm just gonna walk away for a minute, go chill with my boys, go take a smoke break, you know, go out, drink with my friends, you know, take that time, come home, go to sleep, and then the next day we'll talk about it, right? You know, and a lot of the times you'll find that people are more willing to hear you out and be like, oh, damn it, I forgot to tell you, that's not what it meant, right? And then you like, oh shit, so I was like mad for no reason, right? But at least I took that time to calm down first, so I didn't just yell at this person and then look stupid as fuck. Bitch, how come every time I walk in the fucking house, you just hanging up on the phone, who the fuck you talking to? I went through your phone, and the nigga said, uh, Michael, who the fuck is Michael? She's like, that's my brother. Oh yeah, that's right. Ah, uh, come on, baby, bring it in. Uh, I'm sorry, give me a hug, come here. So we get in this huge argument, and she's like yelling and cursing me out and shit, and you know, that's part of like what attracted me to her was the fact that she was really like, like fiery, like really feisty all the time, right? Uh, so like she cursed me out in like Puerto Rico. I had no idea what the fuck any of this shit meant, but she is just steady cursing me out. And I'm like, calm the fuck down. Like you ain't about to just yell at me. Like, that's not how this is gonna work, right? You wanna talk about it, we gonna talk about it. If you don't, then that's it. She was like, well, I wanted to tell you that I liked you and, you know, I was hoping you would be my boyfriend. And I'm like, no, that's not, I'm not gonna do that, you know? Well, why the fuck not? Oh, is it because of this other bitch? I'm like, no, it's not because of that. Honestly, it's because you cheat on your boyfriend. And you said it yourself, if it wasn't me, it would have been someone else, so you can't say, well, I cheated on him with you because I really like you. And this is an isolated incident. You said, no, this would have happened with someone else, right? So I made that choice way back. We weren't going anywhere. And you're the one who said from jump that we weren't dating, right? You did not want a relationship. You just kind of wanted to be friends with benefits. So you can't really be mad at me for that, right? And I was honest with you about everything. I never lied to you, ever. Then she gets even more pissed. She was like, oh, so I'm not good enough. So it's me and starts cursing me out, right? I'm like, I don't, I don't see, like, what's, what the fuck is the problem? And when I tell you she was cursing me out, 
like I had never been cursed out before. Ya no te quiero. ¿Y sabes por qué? Porque todos tus pinches mendigos que haces afuera. ¿Y sabes qué? And then halfway through, I realized, oh, she is pissed. Like I have never seen her, anyone this mad, right? So I'm like, yo, whatever. You know, we were just chilling at the park, and um, this is when she's, you know, we got into this argument. So I get out of the car. And I go smoke a cigarette and she comes out and she's steady yelling at me, right? And I'm like, this is not this serious, you know? It's not this serious. And then she stops out of nowhere, right? And I'm like, all right, so you finally calm down, are you done? And she's like, yeah, I'm done. I'm just, I was just mad, right? So me, being a dumbass, I'm thinking, okay, cool. Right? She's not yelling anymore, we can talk about it now. So I explain to her, I'm like, look, the reason why I don't want to date you, it's not you, it's literally just how the situation is. You know, I had just got out of a, a relationship where this girl left me for another nigga, right? So I don't want the same thing to happen again, or even worse, you stay with me and you fucking someone else, right? Just be honest with me and tell me, yo, I like someone else and then leave, right? I have more respect for you that way than I would if you were just cheating on someone. She was like, okay, well, what about this other girl? Did you sleep with her yet? Do you like her? I'm like, no, I haven't slept with her yet. Uh, yes, I do like her as far as, you know, like look wise, you know, I'm single right now. I can do that. You even said it yourself. At the same time, you know, I'm, I'm, you know everything, right? I'm not lying to you. And at least you know. So then she gets mad and she was like, you know what? Well, whatever, you know? So she goes to give me a hug and then when she hugs me, and this has happened before, when she hugged me, I feel this really sharp pain in the side of my rib, like on this side, and I feel it, and I'm like, ah, oh, what the fuck, ow, you know, and it hurt like a bitch, but I didn't really realize what it was, and I look, and she's got, like, a small pocket knife, real small, stabbed me in the side. And then she starts yelling in Spanish and, you know, then she mm, does it again. And I'm like freaking out. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? I was so mad, dude. Like, I don't hit females. That is one thing that I don't do. And I fight niggas who hit females. But, yo, this situation, this bitch stabbed me in the side. I pushed her as hard as I could, right? She fell down and I just took off running. I'm like, yo, fuck this, right? My house wasn't far from there. So I took off running. And I'm like looking, you know, like when I took some time to look at it, I'm like, yo, man, like I'm fucking bleeding, like through my shirt, like my shirt was, you know, bleeding and shit. And it's like pitch black outside right now, right? But I can tell where I'm at because I can see the street signs in the distance. But while I'm walking, you know, it's like maybe two, three minutes, you know, after I took off, uh, I'm walking through the park and I start to see like ahead of me, like a, a light, you know, from behind me, like a shadow. And it was my shadow, so I'm like, oh, okay, it's a light behind me. Maybe one of the lights in here just came on when I walked past it. And then I realized this light is getting brighter, and and my shadow is getting, you know, bigger, like like the light is approaching me. And then I hear a car, so I turn around and look, and it's her car. She is driving her car on the grass towards me at like 70 miles an hour. I can hear her engine now. She's close. And I can hear it, and it's just, dude, her engine was like all the way revved, like all the way. And I'm like, holy shit, so I start take off running, right? I take off running, and like, in my mind, I'm like, yo, this bitch is, she's, she's fucking crazy, like this bitch is trying to kill me. So, I'm running my ass off, and I see the lights getting closer, every once in a while I look back, and I see the cars like right behind me now, and like split second decision, I just dove to the side, just, huh. <laughs> I dove to the side and her car goes flying past me. <sighs> so I realized like, she's, she legitimately was trying to hit me with her fucking car. This girl was really trying to fucking out me, yo. She was trying to kill me. So I'm, I'm I was pissed, right? I had not been this mad in a long time. So I take off running the other way, right? And I see her car, you know, her slows down and then it turns, I can see the headlights and she's coming at me again from the side. So I'm like, what, what the fuck? You know, like while I'm running, you know, I turn a little bit to the side and then her car just the side. I'm like, yo, she's trying to fucking run me over. So she got close again and I flinched like I was gonna run, you know, this way and the car turned some and I dove again 
to the side, and I'm like, this bitch is fucking crazy. I go hide behind a tree for like five to tell, like 20 fucking minutes, right? I'm hiding behind this tree, and I'm just like, yo, please, Jesus, don't let her find me. This bitch is crazy. I've said this so many times, but this bitch is really crazy. I'm hiding behind this tree, and like, I see her headlights, you know, driving around and whatnot, and they, you know, like she was looking for me, and then she drove away, I guess, right? Just got pissed off and drove away. And I, I still waited there for like a long ass time to make sure she didn't just turn her lights off, you know, and wait for me to come out. I'm like scared shitless now. I finally get home and I address the situation. First off, the stab wound wasn't that bad, right? It wasn't even really that bad. It was just a cut, but because of like all the running and, you know, sliding on the ground and shit, you know, it got like opened a little bit. It just hurt, but it wasn't anything serious to where I had to like go to the hospital or get stitches or anything. But yeah, so that, that was how that ended. Not good. And I never really told anybody. Literally, I never, I don't think I told anybody this story until now. So, you're welcome, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of the story time. Um, your boy almost fucking died. I didn't, though. I'm alive. Thank God. Uh, this bitch is crazy. You know, and that has been the, the motto of this story time. Um... If you guys enjoyed this story, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If I can give somebody some advice to avoid this, I will. Please, please stay away from these crazy chicks. All right? Yeah, they're attractive. It's always the cutest girls are always the craziest. That's that's how it goes. Stay stay your ass away from them crazy ones, and the crazy ones, especially if they're Puerto Rican or Cuban or uh, like Salvadorian, they'll fucking stab you if they find out that you cheating or some fuck shit. Stay the fuck away from them, all right? If you planning to do some crazy shit, don't, don't you, don't you do it. Don't you do it, all right? Stay the fuck away from them. You know, I really have a thing for like, Spanish chicks. Like, Mexican, Puerto Rican, Cuban. Like, Spanish. Salvadorian. Those have to be some of the baddest chicks this side of the Mississippi. The cat agrees with me. Uh, this has been your boy Dr. J and the women <coughs> signing out. <laughs>